this is the Nintendo Arc back with another video and today I'm going to discuss my top 5 favorite Autobots. Number 1 would be Ultra Magnus. I know this guy is like the second in command to uh, Rodimus Prime but I honestly think he should have been the leader of the Autobots because up at first Optimus Prime wanted him to become the new leader of the Autobots because he was the most prime like and he wanted uh yeah I like him because he he is definitely a more like prime than uh than Ronimus. Next we have is uh, Grimlock and the reason why I like him because he speaks in the third person and he kind of sounds like Cookie Monster and he's also a dinosaur. Me Grimlock don't like you. Me Grimlock don't like you. No like you. And he he's one of the strongest Autobots Al along with Optimus Prime. He's one of the most iconic Autobots. The Decepticons cower in fear when they see him. Next we have Blaster. He's basically the Autobot sensor, the Soundwave. He may not be as iconic as Soundwave, but he's one of the coolest Autobots ever. Basic, basically, he's a boombox. And he speaks in rhymes. In the third season, He's the city commander. And when that well, that's his uh occupation. Easily one of the coolest characters in the in the Transformers franchise. Definitely top tier for me. He has four cassette buddies, Rewind, Ejack, Steeljaw, and Ramhorn. Like I said before, he may not be as iconic as Soundwave, but he's just as cool. Next we have Bumblebee. Man, I remember this character like it was yesterday. He was one of my—he was my fa one of my favorite. He was my—he was probably my second favorite Transformers character. I remember getting the toy when I was a little kid. He's basically their little brother, in a way. And last, but certainly a lot least we have Optimus Prime and you can't bring up Transformers without bringing this guy up ever I mean he's the most recognizable character in the franchise so it would be this a disgrace if you if if you were to bring up Transformers and not bring up Optimus Prime. He's in almost he's in almost every incarnation of Transformers. Let me yeah. He is the goat of Transformers. When you think of 
Transformers do you think of this dude? Rodimus Prime doesn't hold a candle to Optimus Prime. And it's, it's a, I think it was unnecessary for them to kill off Optimus Prime in the third, in the, in the movie. They killed him off in the movie only to uh, have Rodimus Prime who was nowhere near as good as Optimus Prime was. Optimus Prime When you think of Optimus Prime you think of that iconic voice the fact that he transforms into a truck trucks are some of the coolest vehicles ever Optimus Prime is extremely cool well this is the Nintendork signing out and y'all have a nice day Uh, no, 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 no. I got, I got some more things to, to say about Optimus Prime. I already said his voice. That iconic red, white, and blue. He has the American cut, the American colors. And he's and he's obviously the most recogni recognizable character in, in the Transformers franchise. Well, this is in the Tendork. Well, I'm definitely signing out. So, I right, peace.